Community Meeting for September 23rd, 2024. Um, in attendance, we have to my right, sorry, <laughs> Commissioner Mullen, uh, myself, Commissioner Lockard, our solicitor, Brianna Bryant, our township manager, Pat Sazio, and our assistant township manager and director of finance, John Bates. Are there any presentations or announcements? Pat. There are none. Thank you. Um, any public comments for non-agenda items? Okay, next we have approval of the minutes. Are there any comments? Do you have any okay. comments from the public? Okay, they're moved into the record. Um, next, uh, the reports. Director of Finance Report, Tax Enforcement Officers, and Investment Activity Reports. John, do you have anything to add to any of them? Um, nothing to the reports, just a quick general announcement. As you know, we're in the process right now. We're in the thick of the 2025 budget. Um, all meetings with the department heads have been scheduled for next week. We've sent out requests. Those have come back. So we're in the midst of compiling all those, and then we'll have a better picture of what things are looking like after meeting with them. So we're looking forward to that. Okay, sounds good. Um, next is the revenue and expense summary. So you're compiling and figuring that out through the end of the year too now, I guess, huh? Right, yep. So no, no uh, updates on where you think we are for the year? Uh, everything's pretty standard right now. I haven't seen anything glaring. I know you guys have passed along some comments about some of the things that we we reworking with the report. So I hope you got a chance to look at that from this morning. Uh, Thank you. Some good catches there. But yeah, every, otherwise, um, everything looking good. Um, in terms of some of the other things you had mentioned with the, the MMO pieces, I know we'll be looking in a more favorable position come 2025. For yeah, the I don't know if that's happened before. Just based on all the timing, and like I said, it's right as when you have whatever your active participation in the union is, you're estimating your wages for those people through the end of the year. So as we've had officers drop off and different fluctuations in wages over okay. the time, um, that's kind of what dictates. So it's our staffing, and then this year did the change in the valuation affect it too? No, more, more so. I mean, there's a lot that goes into that actuarial calculation. I, can't I don't imagine. know all the, all the <laughs> behind those numbers. So basically, we'll take the reports that are requested and it's basically the wages and the contributions for the year and then they take that data and then plug it into their metrics and it'll spit out that number so um yeah very very small changes on the admin and fire side and then we saw a drop in the police one as well please. okay sounds good um so back to the revenue and expense summary commissioner mullen any no questions comments. or comments public okay we'll move on to personnel um we have the reappointment of Douglas Horn on the Uniform Commercial Construction Code Local Appeal Board to serve a new five-year term that will expire August 5th, 2029. Um, we contacted him. He's willing to be reappointed. We thank him for that. And are you good with moving go with him forward? forward? Okay. Public? Okay. Um, Next, just an announcement of the current vacancies. We have one on the advisory planning agency for a Ward 3 resident. We have some on the historical commission. We have one on the Parks and Recreation Advisory Council for a Ward 2 resident. Next, we have a vacancy on the Transportation Impact Advisory Committee. And also one on the Upper Moreland Happer Joint Sewer Authority. Um, there's information about all these different committees on our website, and if you're interested, please send um, a letter of interest to our township manager, Pat Stasio, pstasio at uppermoreland.org. Uh, next, we're going to consider recommending the approval of a resolution required for the submission of a local share account grant application to assist with the cost of the municipal complex renovations. Pat, would you mind? introducing that sure we're asking the board to approve a resolution for us to make an application to the lsa for eight hundred thousand um, dollars and that would be for municipal complex improvements this uh this fund these funds could not be used with the rcap funds that we received the rcap funds are for the actual structures of the buildings if we build a new building or if we augment this building with square footage 
So this 800,000 would be for movable items such as security cameras, computers, wiring, and, and things of that nature. Um, the $800,000 is a combination of information that we received over the last two or three years that Ma Matt Hawker has put together for some soft costs that would be associated with these improvements. Um, and if this is approved, we're gonna send it to KSA to make this application for us. Okay, and this is, um, this LSA grant is only for movable? Is that all that you can apply for for the LSA or that's what we chose to do? That's what we chose to do in this application. We also have an application from last year that has yet to be decided upon and that grant application was for underground um, wires and utilities and, and everything that would be with sub, sub ground. So hopefully we can receive that. That was for a million dollars. Hopefully we get this. We do have 2.8 from an RCAP and we've uh, applied for an additional 2.8. Okay, thank you for staying t on top of these grant opportunities. It's obviously important. Um, any comments, you go with that? I'm good to move Public? to Okay, we'll move that forward. Um, no old business, no new business. Any commissioner comments out there? Uh, okay, finance administration is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.